Now the U.S. military personnel are delivering aid using choppers and ships, some to the remote areas in Haiti, but they're not out of the woods just yet. Joining us now to talk more about this is the founder and publisher of the Haitian Times, Gary Pierre Pierre. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Shannon. And also, thank you for keeping the story alive. It really is helpful because it, the, the situation is far from being settled. Well, well, can you explain the status for us? Because, you know, as we were explaining earlier, everyone's been focusing on the earthquake with the hurricanes and things that have been going on here. And some have forgotten about the earthquake. So what is the current status, especially getting aid to those in Haiti right now? Well, right now, things are moving relatively smooth after a rocky start. The Southern Command and uh, the USAID team have used, you know, helicopter Osprey, really powerful tools, and they're able to monitor the situation, even in hard reach areas. What the uh, Southern Command uh, folks have been doing is really going out, flying over uh, hard reach locations, scoping it out, and providing the much relief aid. That's 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 what's happening now. Um, you know, the gang situation is being. Uh, uh, dealt with because of these huge um, helicopters. They don't have to uh, go overland for the most part because the, the difficulty is getting from Port-au-Prince to the southern region, but these helicopters can fly directly to the south and they have uh, ways to getting the uh, uh, food materials or the other equipment that people need, such as tents and medicine and, uh, and all of that. Mm. Well, with an unstable government after the assassination of the president there and the rise of gangs, will Haiti be able to recover from both the earthquake and these tropical storms? Well, it doesn't have a choice. It needs to. It has to. I mean, I think, you know, the elections are imminent. Uh, they're talking about uh, November, which I don't think will happen, but it will happen within the next year. Then you would have a stable government, hopefully one that has amended and that people are excitedly elected democratically. And so then they will be able to put into place what needs to be done. Uh, now, we are still in the search and rescue part of this, but then you have to rebuild. Bridges have been blown, uh, washed away that have to be repaired, roads and all of that. So that's the long-term uh, uh, prospect. And so th now that's what I would think the government who is in place now should be concentrating on the mid and long term recovery. Well, you mentioned the elections. You know, the former first lady of Haiti, Martine Moise, she's actually spoken out and strongly suggests that the elections must still go on. And she even said that she may run for president herself. First of all, is that in any way a possibility that she could win that election? And do you think that it will continue to be postponed? You mentioned a year timeline. How likely is it that it could actually take place in November? Well, I, I think it's highly unlikely. Just the fact that we're having a conversation about uh, the southern region of the country is 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 under uh, rubble. People have been displaced, and so how do you pull that logistics off uh, to get people's uh, voters' registration uh, in their hands? People don't have addresses anymore, and also the gang situation. The the area that the gangs control consists of about a million people, and 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 I, I'm not sure logistically how you can. Uh, uh, conduct an election uh, next month or the, the, the month after that. You, you need to stabilize the situation and then uh, try to hold, hold these elections. Even during the best of time, Haiti struggles to hold elections because of, of, of many other complications. Um, but the answer to your question regarding Mrs. Moise, uh, she, I think for, personally, I, I, I knew she, she looked like a candidate when she returned to Haiti <laughs> to bury her husband. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she, she had the mannerism of, a, of someone who want to continue his legacy as she saw it, as she sees it. And she, she has made a declaration that is akin to a, a candidate. I mean, so it's not a mystery. I think she's made it clear that she wants to, to, to win and continue his legacy. But what's the likelihood of that happening? Has there ever been a female president there? And is it possible? Are they advanced? Well, no, continue, I'm sorry. Now, I was just going to say, the mindset of the people, are they willing to elect a female? Well, there are some people who are saying that Haiti needs a female president right now because a woman's touch is needed to put this uh, house in order. But yes, there has been a, a, a Haitian a woman president. It was Erta Pascal Trujillo, 
she was the one who uh, successfully organized what many people call Haiti's uh, first and only democratic election uh, with, with the ascendancy of Jean-Bertrand Aristide in 1990. And so, yes, whether people are ready for a woman uh, president, absolutely. I, I, the, the, the problem is the political system has not been kind to women. There are too many women in the political pipeline. Mm -hmm. But I think, uh, you know, somebody who rose to prominence for whatever reasons uh, certainly has the name recognition. And, and if she can mount a credible uh, candidacy, I think she can win. Also, be, there's a sort of like, uh, split in Haiti between the north and the south and, and west. And they are, she's from the north. She's from uh, uh, port au -Pay. And her husband was from Cap Haitian. And so the northern vote may be able to carry her mm -hmm. into uh, the presidency. I don't know. But the problem right. is, is not that whether, you know, a woman is that, is she, can she handle uh, Haiti, mm. can she rule? I don't mm. know. She, uh, there's, there's nothing in her past to tell us that yes, she has the experience. But I don't know if being first lady uh, is, is experience for her, for someone to yeah. be able to reside. Well, we'll be keeping a close eye on that election when it actually happens. Before you go, I want to ask you real quick: Has there been any updates or more information on the president's assassination? Like who was responsible or a motive in that case? No, not yet. And the problem we have right now is that uh, the investigative judge, as it is in Haiti, like the investigators, nobody wants to take the job. Uh, a couple, a couple of judges had it, and they had the secretary or some someone close to them uh, assassinated. Mm -hmm. And so this, this, this is really a serious problem. It's been not being talked about as much because of the earthquake, but that's another problem that Haiti's facing right now. Can they really uh, conduct a thorough investigation into this? But uh, the FBI is on the ground, as you know. Homeland Security, U.S. Homeland Security is there investigating. So hopefully their investigation would be a blueprint for the Haitian investigators to follow. All right, Gary Pierre Pierre, thank you so much for your time and all the updates on that as well with Katie. Our thoughts and prayers are still going out to all those affected there.